it's almost Christmas, but it is pretty much Christmas every day when it is mail day here at Paper and Moose. Time to open some mail from my lovely viewers and see what gifts they have sent me from across the globe. So yes, another mail day. And please rest assured that if you have sent a package, I have received it and it is in the holding room. I could probably put a week's worth, a month's worth of mail day videos out, but I like to make sure that each package receives it, the attention that it deserves since you all lovingly packaged all these goodies up and sent them on their way. So thank you in advance. Thank you to Betsy in Keene, New Hampshire, Granny out in Wellington, Kansas, and Cinda in Lockford, California for the Christmas cards. I hope that this holiday season and the new year finds you well. So let's get to it, shall we? The first package is from Key, New Hampshire. How funny. <laughs> I have your card and your package sent at different times. <laughs> All right. Let's see. This is from Betsy. Enclosed are some items I thought you might find interesting and enjoy. My husband and I stopped at a very good yard sale that just had a lot of box lots to go through and the lady had us just make a pile and the price was phenomenal. Well, you know what I'm saying. <laughs> Thought of you when I saw these. I enjoy your blog, your vlogs and videos. A fan, Betsy. Well, thank you, Betsy. And that's great when you can find a yard sale like that. Um, you know, the more you bundle, I think the better the price is. Unfortunately, with the season we are in now, yard sales are a no-go here in my area. But I'm looking forward to the spring. Hopefully, they will be better. So let's see what yard sale goodies we found. Oh boy, I can already see that. They look fun. Oh my. Oh boy. There's all sorts of things. This looks like a yard that I would have enjoyed. Glen Falls, New York, November 3rd, 1945. These are all little letters. U.S. Army stamps. What are these for? Kindly respond. Um, honor before. So these are wedding invitations. Those are fun. Now can people even have weddings? What a shame. That industry has suffered tremendously. New Hampshire. Triple blue stamp saver books. An American tradition. It's funny to hear what people you know were able to purchase with these stamps and with all the other stamps you know that they had whether it was blenders mixers or food items do not mix regular size and speedy large stamps on any one page good advice <laughs> we have a whole bunch of note from nancy oh there's more snh green stamps i had just seen these at a um the flea market actually this is great paper to use. I'm always needing more note paper. Here's a whole bunch of Nancy. People still collect her, believe it or not. If you go online on you know, eBay and see all the different Nancy items out there, there's collectors for everything, I tell you. Now we have some, oh man, this looks good. Well, this is the back. New fudge swirl angel food cake. Oh, that looks yummy. Ooh, journal, oh, I love her hair. March, 1961. Jacqueline Kennedy grows, Kennedy grows up, How to Save an Alcoholic. Wow. Wonderful recipes and easy all at once oven dinner. Should you remarry a man you've divorced? <laughs> Practical articles for the time that this was. Chef Boyardee, spaghetti sauce with meat. I'm gonna go for some SpaghettiOs. I haven't had those in a long time. The Etude Music Magazine, 1924. That's very, that's somewhat early. These are all sorts of fun. Christian Herald. I can't believe they had this at the yard sale. Christian Herald, 1907. Someone at this yard sale liked paper too. Farm Journal, freezing and canning cookbook. 
I love the old ads. Look at that guy. With verdigree, my net return per dollar has increased up to 12%. And McCall's, this is from January 1961, so the new year. I took a good look at myself, and this is what I saw on No Actor by Gary Cooper. Will anybody dare to believe the fantastic horoscopes for 1961? How about for 2021? Let's work on that. <laughs> well, thank you so much, Betsy. I'm glad that you enjoy the channel, and good luck to future yard sales this upcoming spring and summer in your area. Maybe you'll run into some great yard sales again. Alrighty, next one. We have, this I believe is from Juan from Texas, our YouTube friend, uh, Renee, I hope this letter finds you doing well. I wanted to send you this cool looking scrapbook filled with old cards. Thanks to you, I now know to keep an eye out for paper stuff. I had no idea how collectible some of it is. Yeah, some of it can be, but I must caution you all, and I've thought about doing a video on this, but I don't want to ruffle any feathers. Just because paper is old does not mean that you're going to get hundreds of dollars for it. You know, if you have postcards that are from Florida and it has an orange tree on it, you're not going to be able to retire on that. <laughs> I think there has come to be a misconception, you know, that every old piece of paper is, is valuable. To some, depending on what that paper is, it definitely is more valuable um, to someone you know, than others. To me, finding some old Phillipsburg High School football thing, say a program from 1923, that's going to be worth more to me for sentimental and historic reasons than say someone out in you know, Wyoming. So it, it just depends, but yes, paper, ephemera, can be very collectible. It's just about finding the right piece at the right time. I found this trash picking. I would love to find something like that trash picking a few months ago along with a bunch of loose cards. I didn't, I don't know how to even start finding the value of this so I figured you might enjoy having it. Please feel free to keep it or sell it or whatever you want to do with it. I look forward to watching more of your videos and learning from you. Thanks Juan, the Texan picker. So yes, if you want to see what kind of garbage Texas has, then head on over to his channel. I'm excited to see what you found in the garbage. Oh boy, oh boy. This is crazy. This is heavy. Oh wow. So this is great. Oh, look how cute. So the pages are undone so I can show you. So yes, they are all old cards. This is Mother's Day. Filled. I would love to find this stuff in the trash. Birthday cards. Mother, you're our Valentine. Look how cute those are. To Mother, don't keep it under your bonnet. Be proud you've done such a fine job. That's so cute. Look at that little dog. So, since you're, you're talking about value for me, if I were to find this type of scrapbook at the flea market, what would I pay? I would most likely pay, I think my top price, because I'm kind of cheap, I would probably pay $20. $25 maybe, it depends. I'd have to keep looking. Um, the reason is the, color, the cards are really nice. Cards like this are great for maybe I pay 30, some of these are really cute, are great for junk journalists. But if you're going to sell to junk journalists, you have to take the time to you know, clean them up and, and do some things with them. Or you could easily probably put this online on eBay and get, get a decent price. I don't want to tell you what price because I could be completely wrong. It just depends. You know, some of these are so cute, I would keep them for myself. They just do not make cards like they used to. The quality, the colors, oh, look at this one. Hope you have peach of a birthday, a peach of a birthday. Look how cute that is. That'd be good on the shirt. <laughs> I want to try and, and branch out into doing something different with the cards that I find. So this might be a good album to do that with. But man, what a garbage find. This is great. 
Yeah, I'd probably pay 30 for this at the flea market. Just to give you an idea, some other people at an auction, this might even bring in even more money if you have, you know, people vying for it. Just depends on what they're going to do with it. For a collector, it, it differs, but that was a great piece to find in the garbage. I'm going to have fun going through that. Did you find these in the garbage? Oh my goodness, look how lovely this frame is. I don't know if there's going to be a glare. That is such a nice frame. This poor woman is in the trash. Is this her husband? Oh. I'm glad you saved them. That would have been awful to have them throw out. Oh, look how nice. Great set of frames. I'm sure they were a husband and wife. You can picture this sitting on a nightstand or on a, you know, um, a living room fireplace mantle. Great. It's always great when you can save this kind of stuff from the trash. You know, saving things that can be reused from the trash, that's, that's helping the earth out. But when you can save these type of items, you are saving history. And I think you're saving, you know, memories. I have no idea who these people are, but I'm sure that somewhere out in the universe, you know, they're happy that they're not in a landfill and then others can enjoy them. These are wonderful frames. I'm going to have to have to use these myself. So thank you, Juan. I hope picking is good out there in Texas. Picking is slim pickings here in, in New Jersey. Send me some of your picking luck, please. <laughs> Alrighty. Last but not least, we have a whopper of a box. This is from Susan and Al Alfreda. Alpharetta, Georgia, sorry. I've only been to Savannah, Georgia, and I would love to go back because I love the treats there. Oh my goodness. This is unbelievable. <laughs> Where are my scissors? Or as my art teacher in elementary school we used to say, scissors. Oh my gosh. I don't know. Ooh, can you see it's in this box? First, you have to see if there is a letter. Maybe it's all at the bottom. Susan. Well, if not, we'll find it in there. Photos. Oh, it's a scrapbook. Oh my gosh. South Pacific, Patricia Murphy's Candlelight Restaurant. Patricia Murphy, look at all these. It's a pleasure working with you. The YWCA. I'm trying to see, oh wow, Captain's Farewell Dinner. So this is all a travel, travel scrapbook. The SS, I'm gonna butcher that name. Er Eridan? Eridan? This is er Eridan. Seven day cruise to San Juan, Puerto Rico, and St. Thomas, Virgin Islands, 1965. I'm sure there are many people that would love to go on a cruise today. The West Indies cruise wear. Sports wear of all type. Small fry run about all day in informal clothes, but enjoy dressing for dinner too. I like how they call the kids small fries. A sweater or stole is handy to have whether a ship or a shore. And for sightseeing, don't forget flat shoes. That's so fun. We have some photos. There's brochures. This would be fun to look through. Patricia, Eastern Steamship Lines. That's a great tag. I have to take a better look at this. I just don't want things falling out and getting all busted. We'll add it to my, my big pile over there. Just don't fall in a little pan. There's a whole bunch of stuff. To a banquet you'll go for this red heart admits a girl or her bow for only 12 bits.
I love paper. <laughs> oh my gosh, this, I like, I, I can't even begin to tell you. This would be like heaven finding these at the flea market. Oh my gosh. Atlanta Christian College. So, this is, oh my gosh, this person, I love it. They took the time to cut out the photos and, and write, oh my goodness, and write all their names, Dexter Pop Beavers, Ralph Clark in class at camp at Newman. Look at that with all the graduation photos. It's all gra You're at the beach, Janice, Orlando, Florida, Christian convention. Oh geez, we're having stuff all falling out. Engagement papers. I love that they cut <laughs> all these out. It just makes it fun. You can tell that they enjoyed putting this together. Man, I'm gonna be busy. I'm continually busy. I need more than, uh, I was gonna say 40 hours in a day. I need more than 24 hours in a day. No days off, 2021. What's gonna happen? <laughs> oh, I would love to show close-ups. Maybe I'll do that in a future video. But there's there's more. It's like this person's whole life. Oh, here's the letter. I knew it was in there somewhere. Let's see. Hi, Renee. I've enclosed three scrapbook of my mom's. Oh my goodness. One from when she was growing up, one from college, and a vintage Christmas book that she enjoyed making for the little kids at church. How nice. I have no space for these. I've taken most of the pictures of my mama out to keep, but I couldn't think of anyone else who would honor these like uh, honor these things like they should be other than you. I hope you can get some of that excitement you get when you find scrapbooks in the wild with these. I think you can tell I have. <laughs> Thanks for all the videos. I love them. I love how you don't place a monetary value on everything and see the history instead. My mama was one hell of a good woman. Now I know her things are in good hands. Well, thank you so much, Susan. And I try not to. Um, to me, I don't want to say, you know, I bought this for five, I sold it for 25. I bought this for 10, I sold it for 50. And some of my videos, I do mention that, but mostly when I do, it's usually of an item that, um, you know, anyone could find. I scan a barcode, but for, for photos, it's hard to place a monetary value on them. Sure, some photos are worth a lot more than others, but I like to see the history. I like to see the people. I like to imagine what their lives were like, and I get to do that through all these photos, and I get to essentially meet all these people that I, I never will meet in real life, but I get to see life through their eyes in the scrapbooks and, and what they took the time to put in the scrapbooks or the cards and letters that they wrote. You know, I, I can make life's work out of going through every single piece of paper that I have, which I, I probably should do. <laughs> but I'm glad that you see that. I, I do love paper, I love history. I loved it since, I love the subject since I was a little kid, you know, from digging in garbage pits finding treasures to walking along railroad tracks just to find some old railroad ties and imagining what, what life was like on the railroad. I love history and I'm glad that that is, is seen through my channel. And thank you so much for passing these along to me. I cannot wait to look through that one, that one scrapbook. As I said, you could tell that your mother really enjoyed putting that together. Oh, look how nice. <gasps> Oh, that's a great patch, Leowitz, senior prom. Oh my goodness, all her report cards. <laughs> I hope you don't mind me sharing, let's see. A's and B's it looks like. Constructive citizenship, a C plus. I don't even know what that class would be. She was never tardy and never absent. Oh, and then she was in the Honor Scholarship Society. United States Navy Band. This is so fun. I think 
think putting a scrapbook today like this would be difficult because everything is digital. Our uh, car injuries prove fatal to W. Webster. Let's see, things like that, that they took the time to cut that out, you know that this person meant something to them. Or was a friend of them in, in um, high school. National Forensic League, fun fact, I actually did partake in the forensics club for a year. And it, it wasn't for me. I would get way too flustered. <laughs> Let me make sure this is still recording. It is. Sometimes technology gets the, gets the best of me. We have another scrapbook. Your mom. I, oh, how cute this is. I agree with what you, you said about your mom. For her to take the time to put all these together, she was probably a really fun woman. And that also appreciated the sentimental things. Charlie Brown's Christmas stocking. Look how cute that is. Oh my goodness. The Christmas ghost. Oh, look at these. Easy knit sweater and cap sets for children. Look how cute. I wrote that. <laughs> oh, wow. This is all filled with articles from newspapers, magazines, that have to do with Christmas. <gasps> A Christmas Adventure in Disneyland by Walt Disney and staff. Oh. Two little dreamers hurried up. Their names were John and Jane. Oh, sir, they said to Captain Hook. Is this the Dreamland train? Smiling, smiling, he took their hands and led them safe inside. And then he bowed and said, I hope you have a pleasant ride. How fun. It's a whole, oh my gosh. This is amazing. It's a huge story with all the characters. Oh, is Alice in here? Oh wow, there's Mr. Toad. The witch. All sorts of animals. I know you can't see it, I apologize. I just don't wanna rip it. And she even kept the scrapbook refill sheets in the back. Oh, there's just two more things. We have how to draw and paint flowers, the new edition. That takes a lot of talent. I used to love to draw all the time when I was little. How to do a watercolors. Apples and your classic, you know, wine bottle with some fruit, and that looks like a pot of tea, which I think I need to make. There's some bits in there I'll have to go through. Thank you so much, Susan, for sharing that with me. I really appreciate it. I'm going to have a lot of fun going through those albums. And it looked like your mom had a lot of fun putting those albums together. And I'm glad that you were able to save them all these years. And thank you so much for passing them along to me. So thank you to everyone. Thank you for sending all of these wonderful gifts, whether you came across them at a yard sale or an estate sale, or whether they were a part of your family's history. I feel so honored and so blessed that you can so willingly share them with me and um, so appreciative as well. I hope that you have a great day, whatever you may be doing. I, as I always say, will be making some tea and getting down to business, whatever that may be. My list is very, very long and I have a lot of things coming up with the upcoming holiday. So I wish you luck on your errands and on your to-do list or if you are just able to sit down and relax and enjoy some quiet time, I hope you enjoyed that as well. So thanks for watching, have a great day. I will see you all next time.